Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking you through my it's like a get unready with me routine, but featuring some of my favorite exfoliating acids. I have two new exfoliating actives to talk about in today's video, which is really exciting because I know for a while there I was very much stuck on one AHA, but Good news, I have branched out and I'm trying other products. So before we jump into the video, I did want to let you know that if you didn't watch my video earlier in the week, I did announce that my basic skincare ebook is now available to download for free when you sign up to my newsletter. So in this video's info box, I will include a link to the sign up page for my newsletter. It's like a weekly newsletter, just kind of distilling all of my skincare information from my videos, Instagram posts, and any like behind the scenes content. Uh, that I do for my YouTube channel and also for Muse Beauty. Um, all that kind of information will be distilled down into a single weekly newsletter that you'll get every week. So if that sounds like your kind of thing and you want to get your hands on a free copy of my basic skincare ebook, then sign up for my newsletter and you'll get an automatic download of my ebook. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I just took off my rings because I can't stand having like things on my hands when I'm cleansing my skin. So today was a filming day where I filmed a tutorial for Musee Beauty, which is my makeup brand. And I also filmed a YouTube video that went up earlier this week. So when I film things for Musee Beauty or for my YouTube channel, I do like to knock them all out in one day because I just think it's a lot more efficient for my time. So today was a filming day, hence the full face of makeup. So obviously this has got to go because I never ever sleep in makeup. It's not like the worst thing in the world that you can do, but it's also not great to do. So I definitely always take off my makeup before I go to bed. So the first thing I actually need to do right now is take out my contacts because I have found that if I use um, like a makeup cleansing balm or like a makeup um, oil, if that oil gets into my eyes on my contact lens, it gets really hazy and it kind of ruins the contact lens. So I'm definitely gonna take my contacts out first. Well, this is all good and fun. I took my contacts out and now I can't, I don't know if I'm in focus or not. Okay, so this is a fresh, fresh tub of Green Clean Cleansing Balm. Pharmacy did send this to me in PR. I did purchase my original tub of Green Clean Cleansing Balm myself. So I take, you know, a pretty healthy amount and I put it on my hands and I like to kind of warm it up so it melts down into an oil. And guys, this smells so incredible. Like it smells so good. So now I like to massage it into my skin. I'm not wearing foundation, but I am wearing concealer and sunscreen and obviously um, the Impressionism palette from Musee Beauty is all over my eyes and I do have a tinted brow gel in, hence me scrubbing my brows and I do have mascara. And I really hate taking off mascara because I feel like it's damaging to my lashes to be wearing mascara and to be taking off mascara, but I just, I don't like falsies anymore. I think they only work for like photo shoots or like weddings or like really dramatic makeup really not like everyday makeup, so I don't really wear falsies. But like seriously, this cleansing balm just breaks down makeup so effortlessly. And another really nice thing about using like a cleansing balm or like an oil cleanser is that the oil soluble action of the, the whatever product you're using will help to kind of decongest your pores because whatever excess sebum, excess oil, excess yeah, sebum and oil that's inside your pores or on your skin, the oil will dissolve it. And then the nice thing is that when you have a specifically formulated cleansing balm, it also contains, you know, these like emulsifying ingredients that help to um, wash away cleanly. So if you were to just take, say, jojoba oil and slather it on your skin, it wouldn't behave the same way as an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser because it doesn't contain those emulsifying ingredients. Okay, I've been doing this for a really long time, but honestly, this is just like one of the most relaxing parts of my routine. Just like massaging my face and just getting all my makeup off. All right, I think I've, I think I've done enough. So now what I'm gonna do is get my hands wet and rinse off my hands completely and then further massage my face. And this is a really important step because I'm gonna get my hands wet really quick. Okay, so my hands are wet. Now I'm gonna massage my skin and you can see it's turning white as the cleansing balm emulsifies and this helps to remove even more makeup even more sunscreen so if you are using a cleansing balm and you're just massaging the cleansing balm in and then immediately rinsing it off without going over 
the cleansing balm again with like an emulsifying step, you're not getting the most out of your cleansing balm. Okay, so now at this point, I'm gonna rinse this off. Okay, so now that my skin has been oil cleansed, it's time to go in with my like normal cleanser. I love doing a double cleanse just to really make sure that all the makeup, all the sunscreen, everything is off of my skin. So my cleanser that I'm using right now is the Kors Greek Yogurt Cleanser. I love this cleanser, it smells so good, and it's really gentle and really effective. So I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my skin now. I do like using um, my Luna Mini 2 from Foreo, but it's in the shower right now and I don't feel like grabbing it. All right, now my skin is nice and clean and dry. So I'm going to move on to the like actives of my skincare routine. So there are basically two different exfoliating actives that I like using in my skincare routine. AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs. So I've talked about this one before. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Type Toner. So this contains um, PHA or polyhydroxy acid gluconolactone and also betaine salicylate, which is like an oil soluble molecule that I would compare to salicylic acid. However, I've talked about this a bunch of times on my channel already, so I'm not gonna demo this one. Instead, I'm gonna demonstrate the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA pore clearing toner. So this does contain actual salicylic acid, unlike the Glow Recipe toner, which has betaine salicylate. Now the difference between those two molecules, they're both oil soluble, but betaine salicylate is a little bit more gentle and also less effective as a result. So salicylic acid really is like the gold standard as far as exfoliating oil soluble molecules go. But this is a really beautiful product that you can see like it's like a, got a gorgeous like green color to it. But the way that I like to apply this is on a cotton pad. So these are the Shiseido cotton pads. Um, they are so luxurious and bougie, but they're not that expensive. So I love having like a little, little touch of luxury in my routine. So what I like doing is taking the toner and applying a couple drops onto the cotton pad. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of sweep it onto my skin. And I like to concentrate especially on my T-zone. I saw someone holding their cotton pad like this on Instagram and ever since then I started doing it myself and I was like, game changer. So I just like to pat it in, sweep it on, you know, do all the things. I am breaking out on my chin because hormones is that time of the month. But the really nice thing about salicylic acid is that because it's oil soluble, it can actually penetrate the pores and clear everything out. So congestion, oxidized sebum that contributes to the appearance of blackheads, anything like that, a salicylic acid will really help with. So I have, you know, normal to dry skin. It's more normal now that it's like hot and humid outside, but I do still get, you know, texture and congestion in my T-zone, even on my cheeks, on my cheekbones. So I do like incorporating a decongesting sort of molecule like salicylic acid in my routine, maybe once or twice a week. If you really struggle with blackheads though, I do think that incorporating both an oil cleanser and also a salicylic acid serum or toner into your routine is going to be really critical for controlling those blackheads. So now that I have the toner on my skin, I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I've been really enjoying recently is the Event Rich Hydrating Cream. I picked this up when I went to France like a long time ago. Um, but I just never opened it and then I recently started using it and I was like, this is really good. So what I like doing is applying a little bit to the back of my hand and then I'll take it and kind of dot it on my skin. And this is a lot, but I like applying it as like a overnight mask almost because this is very rich and very um, thick. And so it feels like an overnight mask to me. Some of the ingredients in here are, you know, shea butter, mineral oil, very like emollient occlusive ingredients. So when combined with the um, thermal water that's in here, it's very hydrating, but it also prevents transepidermal water loss from occurring because it has those really moisturizing protective ingredients. And normally when I do my skincare routine, I'm in my underwear. Um, so I do bring a lot of my skincare like down my chest area because this area here is very thin and very delicate, just like the skin on your face. And so you do want to take really good care of that area. But that's basically the extent of my facial skincare routine. In terms of body skincare routine, I do have like a whole video coming about like the in-depth care that I take of the skin on my body because the thing is that we spend so much time on our faces when in reality the skin is the largest organ and it is really really important to take care of the skin 
all over your body. So body skincare routine coming very soon to this channel. I totally forgot to do this before I did the toner because I was like so excited about the toner, but I've been using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm Eye Cream recently. Don't, don't come at me, okay? I know I said that I don't like eye creams because I think they're expensive and a waste of money and like blah, 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 but like I was on this NPR, I really like it. It's very hydrating, but it's not too thick to where Milia develops. It's just like really, really nice. So I do like applying a little bit underneath my eyes, just for like a little bit of extra hydration. And then another um, product that I like using on my lips is actually an eye cream. Um, I talked about this a bunch of times, but this like skincare hack of using an eye cream as a lip balm, so effective, so good. So this is the Royal Honey Essential Wrinkle Corrector from Skin Food. I like to take a small amount and just kind of apply it with like a plushy lip balm. And it just works so well to just moisturize and hydrate my lips and deliver these like really awesome active ingredients like honey to my lips. So lastly in my routine, I just want to finish up with a little bit of hand cream and just something to put on my arms right now just because they're feeling a little bit dry. So a body cream that I have been obsessed with recently is the Cure Natural Relief Essential Body Souffle. This is um, infused with premium CBD isolate, so it does have CBD in it and it is is just so richly moisturizing and it smells so freaking good like it seriously smells like um cherry almond marzipan or something it's just so delicious so it comes in a tub like this and it's made out of glass so it feels really luxurious and i like to just take a little bit and apply it to my hands and on my arms but like i said body skin care routine coming soon if you're interested in picking up this body cream, I do have a discount code with the company Indulge Earth. I will put their website down below and also my discount code. I believe it's Kaya15 and I'll get you 15% off. But yeah, that is my finished skincare routine for this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you want a free download of my skincare ebook, then definitely check out the link in my info box down below. It has a sign up page for my newsletter. Like I said earlier, the newsletter is just like a weekly thing. I'm not going to bombard your inbox daily with like whatever skincare information I want to bombard you with is going to be just weekly at the most so definitely sign up for that and let me know your thoughts on my skincare ebook but yeah until my next video have a beautiful weekend and i will see you in my next one bye